to this time? A lot of winter clothes, a lot of jackets, and hot hands, so we're going to wear really cold. I would say that is a lot of winter gear that you have there. Winter gear, a lot of thick socks, so we're going to Alaska. But as you can see, I'm still in my same outfit because we had some issues with our bags. So our bags didn't make it. Um, it's still in Seattle. It didn't want to come in the cold in Seattle, uh, Fairbanks. So I decided to stay there. But oh well, well, we'll go with the flow. But here, look at how we're dressing up of what we have in our carry-on bag. So at least we got our our big um, jacket and some some cold gear in our carry-on bag so hopefully we'll, stuff like the ninja. hopefully we'll survive or probably today we'll get our bags hopefully geez yeah and apparently um past couple days is like the biggest snowstorm they ever had in quite a while and yes. the roads are all closed um the the whole town just pretty much shut down so we came in like the tail end of it but hopefully they'll clear it up so we can go yeah, they said it was raining for three or four days, and then yeah. it snowed basically four feet or something. Yeah, like it's it's pretty bad, but I'm hoping that they'll get it cleared out in a couple of days so we can go out and enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty thin, but it's actually pretty deep. Wait, I mean, look. that's a knee. <laughs> no, that's over my knee. Over your knee? Yeah, it's like two and a half feet right there. I mean, it's up to here. Yeah, that's like two and a half feet. Yeah, it's deep. We're just standing on top right here as it's compact. But yeah, as soon as you step off the trail, it's two and a half feet. It's deep. Western tan called and we have a car finally ready so we're gonna go to the airport and get us a car it's what time now oh, 11 15 so finally got some daylight yeah we'll have about three and a half more hours of daylight before it gets dark again but at least we're getting our car and we'll go to the cabin and then whether we get snowed in up there or something at least we'll have a good place to stay let's go get our stuff and the car so we're finally here we got off the airplane stayed one night at best western we're at our cabin now Chill, right here yeah it's our cabin yes it is so it is very cold out right now yep. right now it's just uh zero degrees celsius it's going to get colder i think by sunday it's supposed to get down to negative 25 negative 30. uh it's going to be cold but we have a lot of things that we're going to be doing what are some of our activities i think tomorrow we're going to go dock sledding and snowmobiling okay and um, the temperature won't be too, too bad yet. I think it started to be bad Saturday and Sunday, mm -hmm. but we should have a lot of fun tomorrow. Yeah, so dog sledding tomorrow, snowmobiling, and then we're going to try to go see the auroras, yep. uh, northern lights. And I think go we're going to... hot springs too. The hot springs, yes. That looks yeah. like a lot of fun. Yeah. I think we were supposed to ice fish, but uh, didn't you get an email that they are canceling yeah, it? Yeah, since they got... So we're in Fairbanks and... Um, two to three days before we land, they got the worst snow storm mm -hmm. in history. Yes. So the lake um, kind of is hard to get access to, so they canceled our ice fishing. Yeah, so what happened was that they got so much snow, uh, freezing rain and everything, that it actually was so much weight on the ice mm -hmm. that it pushed it down and it essentially flooded back on top, so it's not yep. safe to do that. Yep. So unfortunately, we won't be able to ice fish, which is what it is. But hopefully we see some moose. I like to see some mooses. Mises. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we have a lot of 
uh, other activities planned, so yeah. we should be having a blast. It should be a lot of fun, so let's go get, get to it. Ready, babe? You ready? So, what have we done today? Uh, just got back from running a, the snowmobile and dog sledding. Yeah, That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Very interesting. So, one thing that was really cool while we were snowmobiling, where they call them snow machines here, yep. is we saw uh, a Five couple, moose. Five moose, yeah. Five moose. And since this is the worst snowstorm in Fairbanks history, mm -hmm. the moose are all out. Because well, they want to be on the trail, so they don't yeah. need to to work as hard to stay to walk on the snow. Yeah, so they're having issues walking in yeah. the snow because it's so bloody deep. It yeah. is deep. Yeah. So like, they're actually how on, many feet do you think? Uh, it's around three to four feet. Yeah. Roughly, but they're walking on the trails, the snowmobile trails and stuff, just to get out of the deep snow because they're using more energy yeah. in the snow, that deep snow. So they're on the trails, so it's really cool. Ran they were blocking the, the, the trail, so we, our guy was slowly creeping to the moose so they can go, so <laughs> yeah. we can move. So that was a cool experience. So And they said this never happened before, too. Yeah, so very unique experience. Uh, we got a little bit of pictures, some videos, but yeah. mostly I'm in the back. My GoPro died. Yeah, it's it was so way too cold. cold. It died within like five <laughs> minutes or so. We yeah. were not smart enough to bring the actual case for the gopro we'll so do just, next time yeah so next time i think we got some pictures or some other uh yeah we'll, sh we we'll show up the pictures but it was an awesome experience the snowmobile and the dog sledding yeah the dog sledding was really interesting to do and uh, we learned a lot about the dogs yeah so really now the dog sledding isn't anything for uh you the tail uh, being used as a um I can't think of the word. Util util utility. There we go. Utility. So they're not really used for any kind of utility purposes anymore. It's more just a, a sport now. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah. They have like, we learn a, a lot about what the dog race, mm -hmm. the um, Italian, Italian or something. Yeah, a thousand mile dog race. Yeah, a thousand mile dog race. But, but we all the dogs were so friendly and... The owners take really good care of the dogs, oh, so it's yeah. not like that we're they, they using good. the dog. They really love the dog and take really good care of the dog. Oh, yeah. Well, so on to our next adventure. Yes. So what's next for tomorrow? Tomorrow, I think we're going to go to Chino Hot Springs, um, do the Ice Museum, and go soak herself in the hot springs. All right. Well, let's go. Yeah.
museum. Yes. And it's out of the one of the rooms. Yeah, it's oh. crazy. So people actually stay in here, um, in this little igloo. Six hundred dollars a night really? to freeze your butt off. Yes. Oh, how do you know? Because that's what he says. Six hundred dollars oh, wow. a night yeah. to stay in one of these to freeze your butt off. I, I think hope I'm they have. I hope they have warm blankets or something. But <sighs> show around. So, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. So, looking around. They go, we'll go up here. I imagine this is where you're gonna sleep. Yeah. I would think. I mean, you're not sleeping on ice. Well, technically you are. Yeah, you're on ice, but they have a little. They got like a cover padded. padded thing. A little place to sit. I'm, I guess you sleep up here or down there. I don't but know. But you know what? It's kind of warmer inside here. It's definitely warmer in here. I mean, it's yeah. 22 degrees Fahrenheit versus negative 15. Let's go. What? Oh. Yeah. What is it, my love? We're getting a apple martini. Apple martini at the ice bar. Ice bar, and it's poured in this little ice glass thing. Yeah. yeah. are getting stuck. Uh. Dance it in. <laughs> that guy said the oh, I think the tires are froze. Oh god, it's so cold. Uh, my my eyelashes are freezing together. Uh, I think I look pretty good with white hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chino's hot, hot spring, really neat experience there in the ice museum. Um, Wait, let's start off and tell them okay. how many moose we saw. Oh God, that was like moose alleyway going to yes. the hot spring. I mean, oh my God, what did you see, 25 moose? 20 or more. That, I mean, we saw so many moose just all over. Yeah. I mean, uh, we were like, oh, hope we see a moose, hope we see a moose. Okay, now we've seen too many yeah. moose. Yeah, so and many. I think we talked about it of why we're seeing so many moose. This to, like, it's very unusual to see moose that many moose, mm -hmm. but um, because of all the snow, we actually saw a bunch of it, a bunch. Oh god, yes, yeah, so yeah. many. So it was, was a really good experience. Really cool. I know we got a little bit better footage and video of that, but uh, yeah. Anyways, getting to the hot springs that was pretty cool to see. But yeah. at the hot springs, so. It's cold out. It's like negative 17, 18, whatever. It, it's cold. Negative yeah. 17 degrees Fahrenheit. So the hot springs is like 102. You're swimming. It feels good. It feels awesome. But what's really neat is uh, your hair freezes. Yeah. And the steam coming off the hot spring um, sticks to your hair and it frosts over and it's yeah. ice. So you get ice on your hair. So Yeah, we'll flash the picture and show you what it looks like. It's yeah. awesome. Which I got some video we'll throw in there as well. Yeah. That's so cool. Um, and then the Ice Museum was also really neat. 
Um, it, it felt better in the ice yeah, museum. Yeah, so, so the, the, the weird thing about it, the yeah. ice museum, they keep about 22 degrees Fahrenheit, mm-hmm. and it was, what, negative 15 outside? Oh, yeah. So it's almost 40 degrees temperature difference. So once we walked mm-hmm. in, we thought they were turning on the heat. <laughs> that that was how how different it was, and you oh, can God, feel yes. it. You definitely can feel it. So it's like yeah. you walk in from outside, it's negative yeah. 15 degrees, Go into where it's a refrigerator, so it's yeah. 22 degrees Fahrenheit. So and it's it below freezing. Good. It feels good. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's so feels weird to say that 22 degrees feels really good right now. <laughs> yes, yeah. I think it's negative 20 right now outside. It's yeah. so cold. Yeah, but that was a really neat experience just to see that. Yeah, and you can get a room inside of there too. I don't yeah. think I want to get a room inside of an ice uh, museum, but yeah. hey. Each shoes on. Yeah. Well, today was a lot of fun, but what's, what are well, we doing we have tonight? Something very, very important that we need to do tonight, and that's the reason why we're here, because <laughs> we're gonna go do the aurora chasing. Yes. We're booked a tour to do it, and we're meeting them at what ten o'clock probably uh, around something there. Something like that, nine ten. Yeah. Well, but let's hope we see it. Uh, fingers crossed yes. that we'll see something tonight. So I'm I hope hopeful. we see it. Yes. Yeah. That's the reason why we're here. Yes. So I'm hoping that we do see it. <laughs> All right, well, let's go see if we can find yeah. it. Yeah. So, you guys, can you hear me? <laughs> I saw the Aurora right in front above our cabin here. It was so crazy. Corey did not wake up to go see it with me, so I went out there by myself, set out the camera, but it was the best experience I've ever seen. A lot better than last night because it was just right outside our cabin, above our cabin. It was just so crazy to see. Like, it just kept moving at one point. I saw the colors and it was green and purple but it lasted for like 30 seconds but it was so cool to see like I've never experienced anything like that before but I'll show you the pictures I didn't take a video I, I didn't even think about it but the picture was so cool the, the light was just above our cabin it was it was really crazy but I'm glad I got to see for the second time to see the Aurora but now I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs>